coffee, even though it being the second largest legal trading commodity in the world, yeah. just under oil. Uh, also keeping in mind that it's the second largest consumed beverage in the world, which for those of you out there, water is number one because 98% of coffee is water. Um, so it'll always be the leader. But how, even though it is such a large trading commodity, the guys out there who actually grow the coffee is not living the life of the, the first and largest trading yeah. commodity in the world, which is oil. Uh, you go to any oil rigs owner or you know, oil, oil rigger out there and you see their houses. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, I think the, your oil tycoons really have set themselves apart with regards to finances. I mean, the whole world right. runs on oil, but they forget that the people who get in the things that run on oil run on coffee. Exactly. But we don't see that same financial well-being. Abundance, yes. Yeah. In coffee. In, in coffee and for coffee growers. You know, there's so many middlemen and so many producers that are required to create the volumes that we're using every year that we slice the pie so thin that a lot of people don't necessarily have that availability of funds. 